Hi everyone, it's Bug Eye Manny back at you again with a brand new video. And a part of Spooky Dookie time, I will be reviewing the 2004 zombie horror film, Dawn of the Dead. Ooh. Now, I have some nostalgia. <clears throat> nostalgia with this movie. I saw Dawn of the Dead the first ever time at my cousin's house, Jack, of course. And I loved the heck out of Dawn of the Dead because I am a massive zombies fan. Anything zombie related, I'm hooked. And I loved Dawn of the Dead. Even if it's not as good as the original, it still is a pretty darn fun film to watch. It is a great remake in my personal opinion. Even though there's too much sex and nudity in it, which sometimes can be a little bit comical, Dawn of the Dead is a suspenseful horror film about people trapped on earth in this hell wasteland against fresh eating zombies oh god i'm on camera i'm on camera but ladies and gentlemen we get to see all of these characters re uh, acting together um trying to survive in this apocalypse and it was very, very suspenseful. I love the part where she's on the road and she gets hit by a car and then they have to go um, into the shopping mall. The shopping mall is in the original as well, but the shopping mall in this one is just as creepy as the one in the original Dawn of the Dead. The shopping mall is insane. Um, there's zombies everywhere in the shopping mall. They're trying to eat people in the shopping mall. They want to eat your face in the shopping mall. The shopping mall, the shopping mall. But ladies and gentlemen, Dawn of the Dead is awesome. So it's, it starts with a, a woman and she's in her house. I haven't seen this movie in a couple years. She's in her house with her husband. They're having sex in the bathtub. Then they lay down and their daughter or a girl, a, a little girl is infected with the virus. And her whole mouth is ripped off. It's really, really uh, gross. <laughs> Um, so yeah, she's coming after them. She bites the guy on the neck and wow, he turns and the woman, the main star of the film, has to get out of the house. It's a great scene when he punches the car. <laughs> Continue. So yeah, guys, when he punches the car, it's a very, very cool scene. And when the, when the woman's driving uh, to get away from this horrible terror, when the, I think, there was a guy from Shocking who gets hit by the vehicle. It's kind of funny. I don't know if it was meant to be funny or not, but it is funny. And, wow. So it, it's really cool that, you know, she has, she, meet up, she meets up eventually with these survivors actually, after she gets in a car wreck. And they band up inside this shopping mall. It kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead or any other film for that matter. All of the characters have differences. They all have um, unique traits to them. They, some of them are bad, some of them are good, some of them are strong, some of them are weak, some of them are trustworthy, and some of them are not. And that is really, really cool to watch these survivors band together eventually, come together and fight the real enemy outside, the zombies. And I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I love the, I think they were the shopping mall um, guards. They were cool to watch, the three of them. They were cool. I enjoyed the, I just enjoyed them. They were, they were, they added a layer of comedy, but also um, a layer of uh, action and um, suspense because we don't know if they're going to kill our cast of characters or if they're going to band together with our cast of characters. We don't know that until later on in the film. But soon, one by one, the characters get picked off. Some of the characters turn against each other and there, were, there was also a zombie baby. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, get this baby out. But ladies and gentlemen, yes, Dawn of the Dead is suspenseful and awesome and an action-packed terror for your delight. It's a great film to review for Spooky Dookie Time and I highly suggest checking it out during the Halloween season. I also enjoy the roof scene when they're shooting the zombies down there and they, they're trying to see what the zombie who the zombies resemble uh one kind of it looks like burt reynolds it's hilarious i highly suggest checking this film out and then talking to the guy across the street it was pure comedic gold 
Um, but then it all goes to hell, and they have to get out of the shopping mall because the zombies are coming, man. They are coming, and they want to eat their faces. And some of the characters, I'm going to say it right now, do not make it out. But they have to band together. They have to fight the zombies outside. They start loading in these trucks, these awesome trucks, and they have, like, things all over them. Um, they eventually blow up, and many of the characters die. And the... the I, th I forgot all of the, the characters' names. But the, the Mel character, it's revealed right at the end that he gets bit. He got bit. And the girl has to leave him behind, unfortunately. And the, the survivors, the remaining survivors, get on the boat. But she... Um, has to say goodbye to him. I actually like their relationship. I kind of saw a, f I saw a friendship, but a romantic relationship as well, a little bit in there. And it was kind of sad that two of the mall workers, I think they're mall workers, I haven't seen, I, bear with me, I haven't seen the film in like two years, I think they're mall workers. The t uh, two out of the three w mall workers died. This one guy, the, the like the leader of them, um, he, you know, he, he was like stuck in a vehicle and he blew himself up. I think it was a really cool way to go out. That's like the ultimate bad but um, way to go out in the zombie apocalypse. So yeah, Dawn of the Dead is cool. Um, I do have a couple flaws with it. Some of the themes are a little bit outdated. You know, it came out in 2004, so I don't know. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the sex and the nudity in some scenes is a bit too much. Now, it's okay to have nudity and sex in a movie, um, especially in a realistic film but sometimes it's very comical i i can't remember but there were, i think there was a scene where they're like doing it in the mall and it was like a, a montage and it shows them doing it and it was kind of a little bit too much in my opinion a little bit too comedic in some scenes i don't know if they were trying to go for a comedy movie or a serious movie because i don't know because Dawn of the Dead came out the same year. I probably will be reviewing that next. Um, so bear with me on that. It's going to be awesome. Dawn of the Dead will be coming next. It's going to be awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, what am I going to rate Dawn of the Dead? I am going to rate this movie an A-. minus. It's a fantastic film. I love it. The action's awesome. The characters are awesome. The, um, the story's awesome. The sex and nudity gets to be a little bit too much. Uh, the the, co the comedic scenes sometimes are a little bit too much, and sometimes the characters turning against one another can be a little bit annoying. But I think it was pretty co pretty cool to watch them. Um, some of them get apart from each other, and the others band together. I think Dawn of the Dead is a fantastic zombie film and almost as good as the original. However, it's not as good as the original, but it is a pretty darn film. P pretty darn film. Pretty, a pretty good darn film. Cha ching So guys, check out Dawn of the Dead to complete your Halloween movie marathon, blah, 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 whatever you're doing. Uh, watch Dawn of the Dead. I know it doesn't have to do with Halloween, but they are monsters. They are zombies. So heck, I'm reviewing it for Spooky Dookie time. Next, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce that I will be reviewing one of my favorite zombie films of all time, one of my favorite comedy films of all time, Shaun of the Dead. Oh, yeah. And the cool thing is, Shaun of the Dead came out the same year as Dawn of the Dead, and it is a British parody, which is parodying Dawn of the Dead. It is a fantastic movie. Simon Pegg, Simon Pegg was a just amazing in that film. I can't wait to review it, guys, so check that out. It's probably coming out tomorrow. So check out Dawn of the Dead right now the film, and then check out Shaun of the Dead tomorrow after you watch my Shaun of the Dead review. All right? All right. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to do, blah, 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 blah. Bye, everyone.